What is going on Guardians, J-Man here, and today we're talking about how Bungie can finally make Crucible mains happy in Lightfall. Now I already know what a lot of you are thinking. J-Man, Bungie literally just put out a TWAB with a bunch of great PvP updates. And honestly, you're right. That TWAB was nothing short of amazing, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done in my opinion. Let's not forget that the Crucible has a history of going one step forward and two steps back. In this video, I'd like to discuss a few more updates Bungie can make to put the Crucible into a golden era. First and foremost, we simply need more content, especially new maps. This has been a common piece of feedback for years now. In over 1000 days, all we've gotten was Disjunction, which is basically a reskin of D1's Frontier. The current roster of maps are outdated and don't fit today's sandbox, and one new map in Lightfall is not going to cut it. Somehow, Bungie needs to shift some priorities and whip up a few more arenas for us to play in. I will say, I like how the new game modes have been coming around for Iron Banner, but it's not enough. Eruption was awesome, make it more available and keep the Crucible fresh. Bungie also needs to incentivize and reward improvement with solid loot. Maybe I'm old school, but the whole point of a PvP first person shooter is to get better, kick some ass, and earn some rewards. And I don't feel that in today's Crucible whatsoever. When I get better and win, I get punished with laggy lobbies from skill based matchmaking and end up in the flawless pool in Trials. And the worst part is that there's absolutely no reward to show for it. It is time to dish out awesome loot for improving and performing in the Crucible. Bungie has done a lot of controversial work with matchmaking over the last year, and I don't think it's where it needs to be yet. It's safe to say that Season of the Seraph is the laggiest season to date and has basically become a meme at this point. Look, I'm all for having fair matches in the Crucible, but in no way, shape, or form should that be detrimental to the quality of connections, especially in casual game modes. There is no point to playing opponents closer to your skill if they're going to be teleporting all over the map. So either Bungie needs to somehow reduce this lag or prioritize their social matchmaking based on connections. We also need to fix the matchmaking in the competitive division. Not to be that guy, but this is not a ladder system whatsoever since it doesn't match opponents on rank. I haven't played much this season and I'm only ranked Platinum, but I was playing against Ascendant players the other day because we got matched on skill instead of rank. We could talk about this all day, but it feels like Bungie is already aware that matchmaking does need more work. I would love to see further improvements for both the social and competitive sides of the game. Last but not least, Bungie needs to find a way to keep the sandbox under control. This is the problem folks, when you nerf one thing, the next busted thing enters the crucible. It's always been this way. Whether it's an ability, or an exotic, or a weapon, something is always too OP. So personally, I think Bungie needs to continue to differentiate the sandbox between PvE and PvP. Gerfalcons is actually a good example of this, where that whole reserve overshield feature is strictly limited to PvE. So Gerfalcons can be super busted and full of power fantasy in PvE, but isn't completely breaking the Crucible. Overarching design goals like this is what's going to keep the sandbox balanced, not little tiny patches here and there. So these are the changes I think Bungie can pursue to not only make PvP mains happy, but to also keep them happy. And I don't think I'm asking for too much. New content, good rewards, solid matchmaking, and keeping things balanced is really not too much to ask for. But what do you think? What is something Bungie can do to keep you playing PvP throughout Lightfall? Let me know down in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, help me out with a like and a sub to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the Cosmodrome.